Topsails, carrots, and royals. Let's go! Round it all on! Loose tops, those gallants and royals! Over there, Captain. The fishing set in the Greystone. Some sort the French of cargo there, sir! French was ransacked by bandits. Hey. The assassin allies have their home in two bands. go as long as the seas do go. Tight. What a sailor lad just like his dad, he loves the flowing hole. The woman ashore, he does adore, a girl he's plump and round. We are headed but straight for land, sir! Hell's sake, we'll break up! Bring the block and tackle him! Anchor! Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. 
No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Why, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major dome. What a large bag! Put you... this down hey. now! Wait! That's a bloody corpse! Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. These waters are full of enemies. Red Bank in sight, sir. Good hunting ground. Furlough! Anchor away! There she is! All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of... There she is! All right, man. Time to be quiet. Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. Haiti's a short voyage from Barbados. And his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. I can track that package and find Washington. Draw back. Sub blockade. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington must die.
through there. Let's go. What's this? A rifle? You there! Stay! Where you are? What can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. No. All I've been told is that this is Lawrence Washington's residence. Huh. He and half of the guests here tonight. I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. How long do you reckon the English and French have been fighting? Since Cressy, I'd wager, that was what, uh, 1346? Long before...
Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own two feet. Better be right about him, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. Never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you 
for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Lawrence Washington is dead. He looked disappointed. The sickly way that man looked, he would have been dead in a month anyway. Two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. You find the object. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we can sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. memory appears to be fragmented. How much time has passed? A few months, I think. That virus is cutting off our access to complete memories. The readable, but messy. The Seven Years' War will soon break out in the colonies. Focus on assassin interference. We'll do our best. Won't we, numbskull? It's so grim about the homestead now that Miss Abigail and little Connor have passed. Aye. 
I've seen Achilles crying. Why shouldn't he? It's just that he doesn't look sad. He looks furious. It's unsettling. He's struggling with the loss. We all are. I know, but it's been months, and we've done little but search for this blasted manuscript and box. The Chasseur has a lead on the box. To meet him and Chevalier in St. John's. Chevalier too? No hope of cheering me up then. When Achilles said whoever had the artifacts could access sites of great power, what does he mean? I'm not sure I understand it myself, Shay. I had a long talk with Adam Wally about that. He believes the box can be activated to well, project words or images. Like a magic lantern. What do you mean? You know the magic lantern shows Father Connolly put on in the church basement? The box had a candle in it, I think. He put these little glass plates in front. Then we'd see the images projected on the wall like cathedrals in Rome. Bright and near as big as life. Ah, yeah. I suppose it is. Except that it interprets the strange language of the manuscript, too. If the plate were of a banner in Latin, we'd see it in English. How is that possible? Who knows? I fear we might never truly understand how any of the pieces of Eden were. Where in the world has the most beautiful girls? I suppose it depends on your vision of beauty. The damsel from Corfu and one from Oslo are as different as chalk and cheese, but both can be lovely. See, opinions like that give a man a reputation for wisdom. Yeah, thank you. I would have just said Havana. The girls there have lusty buttocks and bosoms and feel no shame in putting them on display. But that's no slight against our lasses from home. I suppose. I think Galway has the nicest ones. Fair and modest. Always willing to spot you a penny for an ale. You don't say. And then there's the maids I met in Lisbon. Destined for the convent they were. Dark-eyed and kindly dispositioned. If only I'd spoke Portuguese. Not that we spent much of our nights talking. Opinions like that give a man an entirely different reputation. Chevalier. That's a small price to pay for a lead of the precursor box. I never thought I'd say this to a complete stranger, but I owe you my life. Thank you. 
Valier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in all hand to their watery grave. The Giafoon nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry. You can catch him... there. Oh, remember those blueprints? Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Pucker's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Then I will join you on this voyage. Then shall we, gentlemen? You are in a jovial mood, Che. Why shouldn't I be? I have a new weapon, and will soon have a chance to use it. Besides, Templars are usually well guarded, and I'm sure that Smith fellow is no exception. I also took the liberty of ordering some improvements. Morgan now has a ram cut through ice itself. I have heard of such technology, but never witnessed its operation. What about Smith, then? Is he close by? Aye, 
He sails these very waters, and he may have the precursor box. Then let's find him. I'm getting close, Shay. There he is. Most fortunate timing. Lady Luck never ceases to smile on you. He's seen us. Give chase. But hold your fire. We must not damage the box or risk losing it to the sea. Can't this bucket go any faster? At least my ship is still seaworthy, Chevalier. What he's doing in these waters is beyond me. Maybe he came here to beat someone. Or ran into the pirates. He's taking a shot. Something must have happened. If one of my allies attacked him, I would have known about him. When well, he's back from a long voyage, he never attacked him. He controls most of the Templars well, doesn't he? That's a good shot. The very first of walks to him. He probably still has it. Shay's right. The box comes first. So we can't sink him. We'll have to board his ship. We'll force him to beach. Sir! Because the Look at him. He's cutting through the ice. It seems you're not the only one equipped with such a ram, Shay. Let us hope ours fares just as well. Way is clear. Now, uh, once more, your fortune rules. But do not waste time congratulating yourself. Smith is getting away. Okay. He's water. It's an ambush. Halfway you see Diablo not there. Smith must not escape. I don't see Smith's ship. Let's get rid of these distractions first. We'll find him. And he's still within reach. Not 
Wickedness is this! Another Tibbler tactic. They can cover whole stretches of ocean with their flames. Careful, Shay. We could be burnt to cinders. Nothing more. The last desperate word to voice. He knows we have him. him now <coughs> this cannot be <coughs> no do you even know what that is an ancient artifact treasure from those who came before yes it matters not <coughs> some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work Now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. <laughs> 